Sup guys, Juggalo here, and we're going to be installing some tubing, and this video is probably going to be longer than usual because I'm not going to cut myself off while I'm installing the tubing. So you get to see the whole process and what I do for installing tubing and everything. So, yeah, fun stuff. you got distilled water to the right. You can't see that. I have the compression fittings right here. But let's get started, and I'm going to try to use this tubing right here and my camera for the blog TV viewers likes to zoom in when it doesn't need to at all for some reason so I'm sorry if it gets blurry so we're gonna go from if you can see this in here that's gonna be pump out it's gonna go to radiator in which is right here so what I like to do is do this, put the compression fitting on first, wet it, and go ahead and install it on the barb by the compression fitting. Until you can't do it anymore or to it's flush. Now, it might be a little harder depending on what tubing you have, what compression fittings you have, but you want these things to be tight as possible. And I have it where, and I'm going to pull on the tubing to make sure it's not going to come out. Okay. Alright, we have one compression fitting installed, and next what we're going to do, I cut a hole inside here in the drive bay, so I'm going to route the tubing to this barb over here, or that barb, just depends on the angle. So we're going to go all the way down with the tubing. Really, this thing came off, so... So we have it like that. And we're gonna do it right here. So... I'll cut it if I can have you guys see it, but just measure it out, cut it, and it's good. Get my other compression fitting, make sure it's on the right way. Okay. Wet it and then if I can do some of this stuff out, I'll bring the case closer to you and have it zoomed up. All right, and it's easy to you know take more off, or take some off than a lot off. So just a little bit of tubing at a time until you get the way you want it. If you take too much, you gotta restart all over again. Okay, tubing's cut. Put that on the barb right there. It's nice and flush all the way around. And then go ahead and screw it down.
And then uh, logs, hog, actually, if you're watching my blog TV, he wanted to see me do this, so I don't know if he's on here or not. Make sure all the compression fittings are as tight as you can get it. <coughs> okay, we have that done. See it's nice and clean right here. So now we're going to go from your radiator out to your CPU in. And great thing about the XSPC blocks, it actually marks XSPC in, and it's this one right here. Your inlet's right here to the right. So let me go ahead and put that tubing on. trick from my friend Mike and he said if you have a pair of these guys right here you can cut tubing too and it cuts pretty well and I'm just gonna try to make it flat everywhere else so works pretty well go ahead and put the tubing on right here Okay, it's nice and tight against that, or against that. Now I'm making sure I'm not in the way while I'm doing this. You want to get these tight as possible, so your fingers may become raw. I know mine have in the past, and it really, really sucks. Because, see, you get the impression of the compression fittings. Okay. And now we're going to take this tubing. And we're going to estimate where we need it to like roughly right here. So I'm going to estimate it, cut the tubing with a pair of scissors, nice and flush the way I like it, and put on the compression fitting, put a little spit in the hole, and then slide it on the bar. And then screw that on. My fingers are actually starting to go raw, if you can see that. Um, see, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, drawback of compression fittings is that you have to be careful or you're going to be basically bleeding 
everywhere on your hand. If you uh, crank them down too, or not crank them down too tight, but just, I don't know, it just really sucks if you make yourself bleed putting on compression fittings. I know I've done it, so it's not fun whatsoever. So you can tell that I'm using very little tubing because I'm just doing the bare amount that I need to put in here. And it's going to look pretty clean for the most part, I think, considering this case is not even meant to do what I'm doing. The radiator is right here. You guys can see that. And then I have the cover on right here, which people who are looking at this case, they won't even tell that this case is water-cooled. So I'm going to see if this tubing right here is enough, because if not, I'll just use the other tubing I got. I got 10 feet extra just in case, and this is actually from my TH10 build right here that I had extra of. So, hmm. excuse me. So let me see if I can route it and take some of these and then straighten out the tubing a little bit. Or if not, just do a full new clean cut with scissors. So. But let me see, I'm just looking at the tubing. It's not to my liking. I'm a perfectionist. I want this tubing to be flat as possible. And that's what you have to do if you don't have it flat. It's not going to mount flush on your uh, barb and you might have a leak. So, let's see if this tubing is long enough. I'm just estimating here so I have no idea. So, little spit right here mount it up on this barb and I'm just gonna have it free floating right now for a second until I bring up this uh, the tubing if I can't do that anyway oh it's gonna pop off so I have to screw it down oh, that's what I figured Like if water cooling were easy, everybody would do it, but I think it's pretty easy. It's just some of the complications you have. And I hope it doesn't snow anymore, that's for sure. And this should be enough the way I have it, but we'll see. Because <coughs> this tubing is pretty thick. I didn't have it on tight enough. I say screw it, and we're going to use some of the good tubing right here. And then I'm just going to do a superfluous amount of extra. just because I can. If you don't know what superfluous means, it means excess amount. So, Can't do that on the block TV camera. 
Some guys asking me if I could zoom up. The only way I could technically zoom up is move the camera, so I'll go ahead and and I just uh, disconnected me from Vlog TV. So as usual, something always happens. Sorry guys if you're seeing my face, but there we go. Alright. Doing two things at once here. Alright. Now I'm just going to cut a little bit more excess off. Alright, nice and smooth. Going to route up here. Now the only thing is, is just trying to get the tubing where I want it. Because you can see where I want it, but the other tubing there is interfering. So I basically got to take it like this and then feed it through. And I just need to cut off a small amount. Okay. Now I'm just looking for something. Uh -huh. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, since I see some sharp edges, I'm going to put some electrical tape around it. It's not like anybody's going to see in there, but uh, later on, what you should do is get some rubber trim and do it that way. And then I should be able to just hook it on. I just need the last barb. Right there, so. Make it a little better. 
or flush. Okay. And then go ahead and push it in here and see if I can cut some more which looks like I can so I'll cut a little more off and then cut off the trim right there and then go ahead and see if it works make sure you got enough room and it's flush Now, what you have to do is get your hand in here and then tighten the barb. All right, I'm going to try to get my left hand in here and see if I can. No, I have to do. Fortunately, I'm right handed and I can. Get the barb as tight as you can and pretty much what I would do if you had like some kind of excess latex or whatever or some type of really strong gloves, that's what I would be using, but I don't. But I guess you guys get the idea. Next step is filling up the loop and draining for bubbles. Comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button. You guys have a great day. Bye.